body and mind are limited and therefore vulnerable. They need protection, which gives way to fear. As long as you identify with them, you will be condemned to suffer. Understand your independence and be happy. I tell you, this is the secret of happiness. Believing that you depend on things and people to be happy if it is due to the ignorance of your true nature. Knowing that you need nothing to be happy except self-knowledge is wisdom. Without self-knowledge, everything is a problem. Search for what you are. Without it, you will be consumed by desires and fears, repeating them meaningless in endless suffering. As long as you consider yourself a person, a body, and a mind separated from the current of life, and whatever you do, it will be temporary and of little value. Mere straw to feed the flames of vanity. By its very nature, the world is painful and transitory. See it as it is, and to dwell on all desire and all fear. You can only be happy in this world when you are free of it. When the world does not imprison him, he will become a home of joy and beauty. This is supreme self-knowledge. Most people do not know that there may be an end to pain. But as soon as they hear the good news, obviously going beyond all conflict and effort is the most urgent task that can exist. You know you can break free and now it just depends on you. What you are, you have to find out. I can only tell you what you are not. You are not in the world. You are not even in the world. The world is not. Only you are. You create the world in your imagination as a dream. Stop seeking happiness and reality in a dream and you will awaken. The world exists only as a dream in conscience. Whatever has a form is only constituted limitations in consciousness. By itself, there is nothing existence. Every limitation is imaginary, illusion, Mayan. Only the unlimited is real. Only the over-observer, absolute subjectivity is real. Call it me or at man. The images appear and disappear in the mirror of your mind. The mirror remains. Learn to distinguish the property and what changes, the unchanging and change. Until you understand that all differences are only apparent and that the unit is a fact. You can call this basic identity of God or Brahman. The words do not matter. It is just the realization that everything is one. The world seems so overwhelmingly real because you think of him all the time. Stop thinking about him and he will dissolve into a subtle mist. When the mind is quiet, we can see ourselves as pure observers. We move away from the experience and the experimenter and keep ourselves apart. In the state of pure consciousness, which is between and beyond the two, you do not need to know all the whys and the commas. The questions never end. Abandon all desires. Keep your mind silent and you will find out when the mind is kept away from your worries. It becomes silent. If you do not disturb this silence and remain in it, you will realize that it is permeated with a light and love you have never known. And yet you immediately recognize you as your own nature. Once you have gone through this experience, you will never be the same. The rebellious mind may break his peace and destroy his vision, but is intended to return to silence. As long as the effort is maintained until the day all calls are broken, illusions and attachments come to an end and life becomes extremely concentrated in the present. Any thinking you have achieved or will reach this state is false. What happens in consciousness is purely imaginary, a hallucination. Therefore, keep in mind the knowledge that it is in consciousness, that everything is happening. With this knowledge, be quiet. Do not pursue any other thoughts that arise in consciousness. What is necessary is to understand with absolute conviction that everything is temporary and does not reflect your true state. You must perceive yourself as the unchanging behind and beyond what changes. The silent witness to everything that happens. Oh yeah, mind is all you need. Everything else will happen normally once your mind warms up behind. The window is the absence of the wall and it gives air and light because it is empty eye. Be empty of all mental content, all imagination and effort, and, and this very absence of obstacles will allow reality to pour into you. Deepen and expand yourself, awareness and all blessings will flow. You don't have to look for anything. Everything will come to you more naturally and effortlessly. When the mind is silent, 
it reflects reality. When it is completely immovable, it dissolves, and only reality remains. This overwhelming reality makes the dream world irrelevant and irrelevant. This reality is so concrete. So real. Much more real is the mind and matter. Which compared to it, even a diamond is soft as butter. See what you could see too, here and now. But because of the wrong focus of your attention, you don't pay attention to being. Your mind is all with things, people, and ideas. Never, with your being, put your being in focus. Become aware of your own existence. The sun, when it arises, makes the world active. So too, self-awareness produces changes in the mind. In the light of a calm and stable awareness, the internal energies wake and make miracles without any effort on their part. Relax and note: stay calm, silent, and reality will emerge, or rather, it will take you into it.